a time to remind men of the health issues they face and what they can do to take charge of their health. Joining us now is Dr. Ogachiko Lozi from Sunset West Health. Thanks for joining us. I feel like we Thank haven't you. seen each other in a long time. You've been on vacation. I've been on vacation. <laughs> it's part of health. Yes, it is. Well, 80% of all suicides occur among men. So can you talk to us about the percentage of people who have never talked about their mental health? So I think a couple of things that need to be talked about, absolutely 80%, and that's a misleading figure because it's interesting. Men succeed in suicide a lot more than women, unfortunately, but women attempt it more. One of the reasons they succeed is that women use drugs and other chemicals, men use guns, and they don't have a lot of leeway for error, right? So I think that's one of the things. Unfortunately, about half of all men don't talk about their mental health. They don't talk about health. We'll talk about that, especially in the Hispanic community. And about 10% of men experience sort of mental health depression or anxiety. I actually think that's an underreport because they don't admit to it. Okay. Right? It's part of that machismo thing, being a man, they don't admit to their issues. I could see that. So why do you think substance abuse is more common in men? It's unclear exactly why it's more common, but men use more alcohol, they smoke more, and they use more illicit drugs. A lot of it is peer pressure. Again, interestingly enough, when women do those things, they cycle through it faster. They mm -hmm. go from usage to dependence to abuse. Men do it and it has a lot more long-term effects. Okay, so men also use mental health care less than women do. So do you think women are just more aware of what's happening with their health? I think it's a combo. Okay. If you really think about how we grow up in health care, female children go to the hospital, go to the doctors more often, mm -hmm. right? They talk about their periods. They talk about cervical pap screens, right? And so they're engaged with health care at a younger age. The typical boy may not see a doctor from the time he's 12 to the time he's 25, 30 if he doesn't have an acute medical condition because there's no reason to go. Okay. Right? And so I think that's part of it. Part of it is conditioning, but I think we hopefully today and as we talk about things in the future can get more men that are watching out there to think more about their health. Kind of on, on us as moms and dads to <laughs> be is. on our sons, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. We'll talk about the percentage of men who have trouble talking with their doctors about their, their yeah, health. Yeah, you know, so communication with a healthcare professional I think is critically important. I wrote an article about this recently, but it's especially important in the Latino community. As you can see there, 60% of U.S. Latinos, particularly men, have trouble communicating. Part of it is the language barrier. Part of it is the cultural machismo. It happens in Nigerian culture <laughs> as well. We don't want to talk about our problems, right? And because we don't want to talk about any of our problems, we definitely don't want That's to talk about healthcare, which is a problem, <laughs> absolutely a problem. Well, how can men work on having better communication with their doctors? Then? I think there are a couple of tips, and not just a couple. There's a list that you can see. If you're a non-English speaker, or English is your second language, bring an interpreter. That could be a family member, it could be a friend. A lot of clinics and hospitals have dedicated interpreters. Okay. Don't be ashamed, don't be shy, use them. Prepare a list, right? My mom was a big list person. My mom, she's at home right now. <laughs> but she's a big list person, and so I'm a big list person. Okay. Make a list of questions and go through it. All right. Well, can you tell us about some helpful resources? Yeah, so we talked about mental health. We talked about substance abuse. But as you get older, there's a number of things you got to focus on, right? As you get the grays and you start to feel a little bit different about things, you got to look at your blood pressure. You got to look at your weight, mm -hmm. your cholesterol, colon cancer screening, prostate screening. All of those things are critically important that you know what's going on in your health, engage with the clinician, and make sure that you get the best health possible. Yeah, you just have to be aware. And if you have a question about your health, you can send us an email to news at kvie.com. Dr. Losey just might answer your question live on ABC 74. If I may say one last thing, I think it's super important as we talk about Men's Health Week, for the men out there, don't be shy, don't be scared, Talk about your health. You want to live longer. It's scary to get older, right? right? No, I'm about to it's turn 52 scary. on Monday. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful a thing and scary, but hey, the healthier you are, the more you enjoy those years. All right, Doc, thanks for joining us Thank as you. always.